All right, today we're gonna do some tasty notes on the Lucky Seven Frenchman, the third prime barrel pig um, from Lucky Seven. And I tell you, this one is special. Uh, I've just tasted it. It doesn't taste anything like the previous um, pig at all. And the previous pig was delicious and really amazing. I think this makes for a fantastic fall pour. Um, so 119.1 proof here. And a couple things that I picked up on the on the nose on this, it's when you smell it, it's immediately different than the previous pig, but it still feels very much so like fall. So it's like perfect for this time of year. So right up front, I get some of that molasses and like a mixture between molasses and maple syrup. It feels like harvest season really like right now where it's like, I get a lot of red apple, a lot of fruit in this. Um, I get some of that oak, that oak is there for sure. But there's a slightly like dusty quality as well that smells kind of like the Rick House floor on it, right? It's like, it's right there. This kind of reminds me of like a mull wine or spice cider, but like from the spice side, where it's like really fruit first and then the spice second. The spice is there, but it's really playing a supporting role. I feel like the previous pick was more spice up front and you got the fruit on the back end. This is fruit first, then get a little bit of the spice on the back end, like that clove and maybe even a little bit of like star anise or something. So. it's culture. Yeah, See, it's this is kind of wild because that fruit just comes right up front for you. It's like this this fresh ripe, like really fresh ripe fruit, not like stew fruit. I feel like the previous pick was a little bit more stew fruit. This is ripe fruit, so this is like your fresh red apple kind of thing, maybe like a, a very sweet pear. You get a lot of plum, um, even maybe even some like you know slightly overripe apricot or something on this, but. And oak is nicely integrated with that fruit too. It's not overly oaky. I thought it was going you know, to be a little bit more oak forward than this, but it's like really integrated with that fruit. It tastes delicious. It's... Yeah, this is like a special, like that fruit integration with that oak. It's right there. You also still get that supporting spice piece. It's not up front. It's like it's very at the end. It comes through at the finish. And it's almost like fruit skins mixed with like a little bit of clove. So then you get some a little bit of like raspberry that kind of pops in there towards the finish and it really lasts for a minute. And at the very tail end, because this is a long finish, like I'm still tasting it, and you get like a slightly floral component that kind of comes in. It just peeps his head out right, right at the end as part of the finish. But um, no, this is one to have, and I promise you, if you got the previous one, and you think like, okay, I'm not sure if I want more of the same, this is totally different. This is a different piece. It tastes completely different, but I would say equally as good as the previous pick. So um, yeah, definitely a, a winner here.